Dr. Manoharan Hospital at Coimbatore Taragam Road is owned by Dr. U. Manoharan, his wife, Dr. Jayasudha Manoharan, elder son, Dr. Hari Prasad, and younger son, Mr. Vignesh. Dr. Jayasudha's 82-year-old father was getting treated in a private ICU room in a Chennai hospital. On 4th September, he suddenly deteriorated with no pulse or BP recordable. But doctors put him on a ventilator and heart IV line and revived him. Information about his condition was given to his daughters. Next day, on 5th September, Dr. Jayasudha and her two sons entered the ICU on the pretext of seeing her father. Thinking that they came out of love for the father, the nurses allowed them inside. After some time, Dr. Jayasudha asked the nurses to go out of the room as she wanted to talk something personal with her father. As soon as they went out, her son, Dr. Hari Prasad, took some blank documents from under his shirt. They threatened the 82-year-old man that they would kill him and put the blame on the hospital and made him sign one paper. But when he refused to sign further, they took out an ink pad, caught his thumb and forced his thumb impression on all the documents. The young man did not care that it was his own grandfather and took part in the act. Once done, Dr. Hari Prasad quickly hid the documents under his shirt. Then Dr. Jaya Sudha pulled out some spirit and cotton from under her blouse and both doctors wiped the ink mark from his thumb. Though very weak, the patient protested. In order to shut him up, Dr. Jayasudha bent under his cot and unscrewed his heart IV line. This caused her father to bleed out on the ICU floor while she sat in a chair and watched him bleed to death. The ICU nurse saw some documents through the glass door and rushed in with the duty doctor and the hospital AO. Dr. Hari Prasad tried to remove the patient's file from the ICU, but the DMO caught it. But in the confusion, Dr. Hari Prasad slowly slipped out of the ICU without anyone noticing. In this clip, you can see him going out of the hospital alone. Meanwhile, the patient protested to the DMO, but Dr. Jaya Sudha denied the whole thing. The father's blood continued to trickle to the flow, drop by drop. When told that the police will be called, Dr. Jaya Sudha got up to leave. The disconnected IV line fell to the flow for all to see. She quickly picked it up and instead of trying to stop the bleeding, she tried to tuck it into the bed. The ICU nurse took the IV line from her, connected it, stopped the bleed and saved the patient. As Dr. Jayasudha was walking out of the ICU, the hospital staff noticed the blood stain on her hands. She panicked that all saw the blood, called her son and ran out of the hospital before people could realize its implications.
the ICU nurse noticed the blood under the cot and asked the maid to clean it. Even then, no one understood what was going on. Only when the whole episode was reviewed on the CCTV camera, did they all understand that this was an attempted murder of own father and own grandfather caught on cam without culprit's knowledge. The entire unedited CCTV footage was immediately handed over to the Chennai police. What is a visitor to the ICU doing under the court of a patient? How can a screw type heart IV line unscrew itself and how is blood seen on the floor? How many visitors who enter an ICU go out with blood on their hands?